Well, good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Monday Momentum. Grace and peace be unto you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are so excited to see all of you who are logged in this morning and ready to begin your day with power and authority. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to all of you. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace. Amen. It's so good to see all of you. Let's try to get this lighting a little better. There we go. There we go. Grace and peace to all of you who are logging in from wherever you may be watching this morning to April Renee. Good morning to you. Sister Shanae, good morning to you. Loved your video from service yesterday. Pastor Kerry McDowell, good morning to you. Missionary Devonna, grace and peace. Sister Susan, miss you so much. Hope you can uh, uh, be in worship very, very soon. We're praying for you and believing God. Sister Karen, good morning. Good morning. Sister Karen to the rescue yesterday. <laughs> Uh, Sister Crystal Blair, grace and peace. So good to see you in worship yesterday. I am excited about another day, another week that the Lord has given us to be able to, uh, with intentionality, with purpose, be able to uh, position ourselves 
in a place of joy, of peace, of health, of wealth, and prosperity. And we are so grateful to God, so grateful to God. What can we render to God for all of his many, many, many blessings? It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Good morning, Minister Danny. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Yvonne. His compassion fails not. Listen, I hope that you have awakened this morning uh, with love, with joy, with peace, with serenity. Dawn, good morning to you. Missed you yesterday. Ida May Powell, good morning to you. Uh, as you prepare for not just another week, but a new uh, dimension, a new realm, uh, a new season that the Lord is bringing us in. I was thinking this morning, uh, coming on, uh, that when we were doing Mo Monday Momentum earlier, uh, uh, the, the leaves behind me were green and 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 at full bloom and the trees and now as you can see the season is changing the leaves are not only changing colors but they are falling away uh they are dying away so that the tree can prepare for the season that is ahead and i believe that that is the prophetic word for you this week is to prepare for the season that is ahead not only spiritual, but business-minded individuals will tell you that you never prepare for a season in a season. Good morning, Minister CC. Powerful prayer yesterday. You never prepare for a season in a season, but you prepare ahead of time. Scripture declares that the sons of Issachar were men who had an understanding of the time. Uh, they were men who could sense. Uh, they were a tribe who could sense what was getting ready to happen to in order to shift and in order to prepare and that is the season that's the place that you've got to live in is you've got to prepare damon prepare porsche for the season that is ahead you never prepare for the season in the season uh you will notice that uh, athletes they train in the off seasons to prepare themselves for what is coming and this is the place that you've got to live in my prayer for you is that you will be so encouraged by what you see in the future that it will make you want to prepare now. Hear what I'm saying to you, Shanae Spence. You have got to be so excited about what you see in the future that you begin to prepare now. Many of you uh, who have the pleasure of pastoring, I'm, I'm, I'm getting so much joy. Good morning, uh, honey. Good morning, overseer, Coach Nile. Anthony, good morning to you. Uh, uh, watching you all on Facebook talk about your endeavors and, and what you're preparing to do. And many are building businesses and companies and, and, and visions and organizations. And I'm excited about it because this is what you must do. You must prepare. Good morning, Pastor Belton. Love you so much. You must prepare. 38, one of you are on, but you can uh, like, tag, and share. Invite somebody to join us this morning. And so my prayer for you is not only uh, the ability to prepare for what you see, but that your faith will be increased to see what God sees for you. Uh, if you didn't get a chance, two powerful messages yesterday that will encourage you in the same vein. Overseer preached yesterday morning, my seed did this, my seed did this. And we preached a message last night entitled, it's time to shift. It's time to shift. And I believe that for many of you, you are in a transitional season where the Lord wants to bring you out of and into. He wants to prepare you for what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, what has not even entered into your heart that he is getting ready to do for you. But your faith is essential. Somebody put that in the comments. My faith is, is essential. My faith is essential. Your faith is essential because you're going to have to believe God in a way you've never believed him before. You're going to have to trust him in a way that you have never trusted him before, because even for some of you, what you're getting ready to do has never been done before. So there is no blueprint. There is no template. There is no instruction manual, but God's going to give you instruction as you go. God is going to give you instruction as you go. And you cannot allow what happens in your life, even what you're experiencing in this present season. Can I tell you to, to hinder you? Can I tell you something that what you see now looks nothing like what you're getting ready to come into? What you see today looks nothing like what God is getting ready to do in your life. You're going to look 365 days from today and you're going to see that your life has totally, totally flipped 
has accelerated, has ascended, but you've got to remain steadfast. You've got to remain unmovable. You've got to stay in your word. You've got to have your, your feet set as hinds feet. You've got to have your face set as a flint to believe that God is going to make good on his promises concerning you. So here's what you've got to do. You've got to speak to those spirits that will cause you to be delayed in the timing of God. Uh, what, what, what causes your next dimension, your next level, what ignites your increase is when time and chance come together. When time and chance come together. Scripture declares that the race is not given to the swift, uh, nor, nor to the strong, nor battle to the strong, but time and chance happen to them all. Which means that every single one of you who can hear my voice, there will be a certainty that you will have a time and you will have a chance. But where you play a role in this is you've got to make sure that you are consistently moving forward so you don't have the chance but miss the time. What causes the explosion in your life, what causes the manifestation of what you've prayed for, what you've hoped for, what you wished for, what you've dreamed for is when time and chance come together. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying for many of you that it is your time, that it is your time. You cannot be delayed. You cannot be slowful. You cannot procrastinate. I speak to that spirit of procrastination that says, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. I speak to that spirit of tiredness that says, I don't have the strength to do it. I decree and declare that you're going to mount up on wings like an eagle. You're going to run and not be weary. You're going to walk and not faint. You're going to stand in the strength of the Lord to do, to be, to become, and to have. But you have got to what? You've got to be like the sons of Issachar and have an understanding of the time. Many of you who are prophetic uh, will, will sense that there is something happening in the spirit realm. There is a dimension, a portal that is being open and that is preparing to be open. I've been teaching and preaching uh, for the last several Sundays, maybe a month now, uh, regarding uh, 2024. Uh, I, I, I have always been of the nomenclature of preparing for the next, but God has put something, a, a burden in me to specifically prepare you, the people of God, for what is going to be an exceptional year. Now, will there be death? Will there be tragedy? Will there be circumstances? Absolutely. But even as I said yesterday, what's going to make your year exceptional is that God is going to give you focus like you've never had before. If you receive this word, just throw some hand emojis in the comments. God's going to give you focus like you've never had before. What does that mean, Apostle? It means that things that used to distract you in 2024 are no longer going to distract you. Things that you would lose sleep about in 2024, you're going to have peace that passes all understanding things that would frustrate you. You're going to have the joy of the Lord that's going to be your strength. It's not going to be an exceptional year because things will not happen and problems will not happen. As long as we are on this earth, there will be situations, there will be circumstances, there will be issues that you will have to navigate through. But what is going to make this year exceptional is that you're going to view it from a lens that you've never viewed it from before. Who is that for? If you receive that word, just put in the comments, I received that. And I'm decreeing and declaring that. I, I, I understand that the Lord has given me a mandate and an assignment to prepare you. And God says to you, the time is now. You've heard that before. You, you've heard that preached. You've heard it prophesied. You've heard, you, uh, you've heard it taught before. But I want you to hear it, not from your flesh. I want you to get that in your spirit. I want you to get that in your spirit, Ambria, Sean, Fatima. I want you to get that in your spirit, Shireen, Pastor Kerry. I want you to get that in your spirit, Mother Pearl, that, 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 that the season of procrastination is over and my life is shifting for the better. My life is shifting for the better. You may have a great life right now, but God says there is even more for you. And so here's what you've got to do. You've got to regain your focus. I need you to help me prophesy and, and talk to your brothers and sisters who are logged in. 36 of you are on right now. I need you to put in the comments, hey, sis, hey, bro, regain your focus. Regain your focus. I need you to help me to talk to your brother and your sister that is on here. Regain your focus. God is not done with you. There is more for you to do, more for you to have, more for you to see, but you've got to regain your focus. You've got to look to the hills 
from which cometh your help, knowing that your help comes from the Lord. The season, the time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Your flesh has heard that, but your spirit needs to connect with that. Pastor Selena, the time is now. Dawn, the time is now. Sister Susan, the time is now. Karen, I love how she said it. She said, hey, family, the time is now. No more delays. No more distractions. Apostle, you're always talking about this. You're always saying this. I believe in the law of repeat. I believe that sometimes instead of hearing so many brand new things and brand new teachings, you need to hear something consistently until it gets in your spirit and you begin to move. Until it, get, it resonates in your spirit and you begin to shift. You begin to change. You begin to operate at your highest level. The word would say vibrate at your greatest capacity. But we say operate as high as we can in the spirit of the Lord, knowing that if God is for you, he is more than the world against you. So I'm excited about your future. Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? Listen, if you're, if you're just now preparing for 2024, you're a bit late, but it's not too late. You're a bit late, but it's not too late. I'm already in, in, in winter of 2024 with preparation and thoughts and ideas, Pastor God. I'm already preparing for the harvest. I'm already preparing for the harvest. I hear the Lord say to somebody on here, prepare. I hear the Lord say, prepare. Get ready for what he's getting ready to do. And it's going to happen so suddenly. And if you question what God is able to do, you're going to miss what he does. If you spend so much time questioning it and in delay, you're going to miss what he does. Amen. So we're going to pray and we're going to decree and declare. I love you all so much. And uh, I'm excited about your future. I'm excited about what God is going to do, what he's already doing. Heaven is already working on your future. Man, somebody just put that in the comments. Heaven is already working on my future. Heaven is, uh, you may be driving. You need to pull over and put that in the comments because it's a declaration. It's a declaration. Heaven is already working on my future. There are already plans in place that are going to meet me as I go, meet me as I do. Meet me as I become. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming the best version of myself as heaven prepares my future. Amen, amen, amen. Listen, you know what time it is. Uh, last couple of weeks, we've, we've, uh, the Spirit of the Lord has been speaking to us in this, in this place. Erica Franklin, it's done in Jesus' name. And uh, so we haven't been able to decree and declare like we normally do. But I want you right now, without haste, without delay, to begin to decree and declare in the comments. What does that mean? Maybe this is your first time and you have not joined us on this platform. We understand the dominion that God has given us. We understand the dominion. Heaven is not, uh, we are not waiting on heaven. Heaven is waiting on us. For as the scriptures declare, whatsoever we bind, and whatsoever we lose, then heaven does what? Come on, church, comes into agreement with us to manifest everything that we declare, everything that we speak, everything we've been talking about seeds for the last several weeks. Every word you speak is a seed that goes into the ground, goes into the spirit realm and begins to find a way to operate, find a way to move. And so you've got to be mindful of what you decree and declare. In Jesus' name. Come on, let me see who's going to be first out the gate. Let me see what you're going to decree and declare. What, what are you mandating heaven to do on your behalf this week? What are you mandating the spirit of the Lord to do on your behalf? What do you need from God? What do you need from God? What do you need him to do? Fatima says, I declare that I have regained my focus and initiative. I believe it. There is an overwhelming spirit of tiredness, uh, burnout uh, that has been released. Yusef, I'm so glad to see you, man. Uh, and, and, and it's, it's almost palpable. You can, you can sense it on the people of God. You can sense it in atmospheres. And I've been praying specifically regarding that, uh, uh that, that, that our faith will not fail us. Uh, uh when Jesus was getting ready to be betrayed uh, by Simon Peter, he said, uh, uh, Satan desires to sift you as we, he said, but I pray that your faith fail you not. I am decreeing because I understand that, that anything that the enemy dispatches, I have the power, I'm not just saying me, but we have the power to counteract it by decreeing and declaring a blessing. And I'm decreeing and declaring, CJ, Pastor CJ, so glad to see you, brother. I'm decreeing and declaring that the strength of the Lord is upon you. I'm decreeing and declaring that the strength of the Lord is upon you. That even in this last uh, dimension of this year, that you're going to have strength 
to do things that you wanted to do all year. You're going to be able to complete them before December 31st. Ideas and strategies are flowing. Thoughts are progressive. You're going to move in the strength of the Lord. You're going to operate at your highest capacity. You're going to move in your ability and your strength. One of the things that I said to the people of God yesterday, I asked them a question. If you remember this and you were uh, online or you were in the sanctuary yesterday, at Hope City, I asked this question. What are the thoughts you are telling yourself about yourself? What are the thoughts? What are the narratives? What are the words you are telling yourself about yourself? I'm tired. I'm stressed. I'm worried. I can't. I shouldn't. I don't have the capacity. What are you telling yourself about yourself? And if those thoughts are counteractive to what the spirit of the Lord says about you, then you've got to immediately change your language. Much of what manifests in your life is what starts in your head, starts with a thought. And that thought begins to plant a seed and that seed is then verbally spoken and then goes into the ground and then manifests in your life. So you speak, I'm tired. And then you find yourself tired. You speak, I'm, 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 I'm sick or I don't feel well. And then it begins to manifest in your body. So you've got to begin to align yourself with what the Lord says about you. What the Lord says about you. What are you telling yourself? What are the thoughts that you're saying every day that might be keeping you stuck or keeping you stagnant or keeping you delayed or keeping you fearful? What are you saying? What are the areas of your life where you need to change your language? Where you need to change your language to see the hand of God show up in your life. 40 of you are on right now. And you can begin to decree and declare. I want you to continue to decree and declare. Amen. I love the agreement that I see in the comments. Uh, we're going to decree and declare. Uh, you're going to decree and declare. <laughs> and I'm going to begin to pray. I'm going to begin to pray. And uh, we're going to agree in the spirit. Father, I thank you. I praise you and I honor you. And we give you glory for being God. We thank you that you're the God that was and is and is to come. Supreme ruler of the universe. Elohim, Adonai, Jehovah, hallelujah. We honor you this morning, Father. We have awakened with praise on our lips for it is a good thing to give praise unto our God. And so, Father, we bless you and we honor you in the beauty of holiness. We thank you that you are the supreme ruler of the universe and there is nothing that is too hard for you. So, Father, this morning we go to the rock that is higher than us. We thank you that it's in you that we live and move and have our being. We thank you, Father, that we know that when our heart is overwhelmed, we, the righteous, can run into your name and we are safe. So we call on your strong name, your mighty name, your big name, your phenomenal name, your everlasting name, your unchanging name. We call on you this morning. We do not call on Buddha, Muhammad, Confucius, Father Divine, Daddy Grace. No, we call on the God of the Bible, the God that can move mountains, the God that the winds and the waves obey, the God that form planets and put stars in the sky, the God that can heal bodies, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Sikanu, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah all, oh, God El Roy. We call on you this morning, <laughs> Jehovah. So both the God of war, we call on you. You are whatever we need you to be. And this morning, Father, we have come together, even in a virtual atmosphere, to say to you, be God and be our strong God. Be our ruler. Be our deliverer. Be our healer. Be our way maker. Be our sustainer. God, be what we need you to be today. You can do nothing but be God because you're always God. You're everything that we need. In you, we live and move and have our being. We are sustained by you. We are encouraged by you. We are covered by you. We are loved by you. And oh, how we love you this morning. How we love you, Father. How we love you. And your loving kindness is better than life to us. Hallelujah. Ah, God, we thank you this morning. And Father, I thank you that we can come to you. We can ask anything in your name and it shall be done. But before we ask you for anything, Father, we say create in us a clean heart and renewing us a right spirit. Cast us not away from your presence and whatever you do, Father, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. Father, clean us. 
Wash us. If there's anything that we've thought or said or done that was not pleasing to you, Father, clean us this morning. We want to start this week afresh. And I thank you that the residue of the last week the, 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 uh, the mistakes of the last week, the missteps of the last week. I thank you that you're so much God that when we ask you to forgive us, you don't hold it against us. I thank you, Father, that through asking for forgiveness this morning, you are not going to punish us in this week, but you're a good, good Father. Father, that allows us to begin again morning by morning, new mercy we see. So thank you, Lord, that the slate has been wiped clean, that we have the ability to be begin again this week. No mistake, no mishap, no sin is held against us because your word declares that there is therefore now no condemnation to us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So I thank you, Lord, that we begin again. I thank you that the discouragements of last week, the hurts of last week, the failures of last week will not paralyze us, will not hold us. But Father, we're standing up in you. We're standing up in you. And I decree and declare strength to every man and every woman who is on this stream. I'm Hilda. So glad to see you. I decree and declare strength. I decree and declare strength. No procrastination this week. No delays, no hesitations. But Father, they're going to move in you. I thank you that new realms and new portals are being opened to them to be able to maneuver in skill sets they didn't know they had to be able to do things they didn't know they could do to have strength they didn't know they possessed. I thank you, Lord, that you're with them. Every man and every woman, Father, you have the ability to go to their home, go to their car, go to their job, wherever they may be found today, Father, meet them. Go before them and make the way plain. Linnea, good morning to you. Make the way plain for them, Father. I pray that a blood covering would be upon them. No hurt, no harm, no danger, no sickness would come upon them. I decree and declare that you're covering their vehicles, Father. You're covering their means of transportation as they maneuver in cars or on buses or in Ubers this week, Father. I thank you that they are safeguarded by the blood of the Lamb and no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Thank you for the blood covering. I decree and declare that their dwelling place, wherever they live, Father, is covered by the blood. No thief, no robbers, no, no malfunctions, Father, within their homes, no fires. We bind electrical fires in Jesus' name. We bind it now in the name of Jesus, and we decree, decree and declare, Father, that you are doing a good work on their behalf, and there are legions of angels that are fighting for them. I thank you that they do not do life alone this week, but Lord, you are with them. You are with them. You are with them. Toya, love you. You are with them, Father. You are going before them and making the way. I thank you for new opportunities being released. I thank you for new jobs and promotions. I thank you for gifts and good surprises, following them, pursuing them and overtaking them, chasing them down. I decree and declare the Amos 9 blessing, that multiple blessings will follow them, Father, as they go through this week. I decree and declare that the doors of brass and bronze heavens where the enemy has tried to shut them out are being opened open and flying off the hinges according to your word that says you set before them an open door that no man can shut. I thank you, Father, that new ideas and strategies are being birthed in them. I thank you that innovation will be their portion, new ideas, witty ideas that will that will cause economic growth and sustainability in their life. I thank you, Father, that this week they will manage uh, their increase well, Father. They will steward their increase well, Father. And I decree and declare that the locust, the canker worm that would come to devour what you have given them is halted, is paralyzed, is destroyed now in the name of Jesus. I declare decree and declare increase to their wealth, increase to their health, increase to their mindset. I decree and declare that the mind of Christ is upon them to do, to be, to have, and to go. I decree and declare, Father, that you are renewing their mind, Father. You are giving them ways and ideas and strategies. You are making the path clear, and I thank you that every word curse, every narrative that the enemy would try to plant in their mind is defeated now, but they are the head and not the tail. They are above and not beneath. They are the they are the lender and not the borrower. I thank you that your thoughts toward them are of good and not of evil to prosper them, to bring them to expected ends and a harvest. 
And so, Father, we decree and declare it with power and authority this morning, and we say your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you that heaven has come into agreement with us to produce what we've seen in our minds, to manifest what we felt in our spirit. We thank you that there is agreement in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. And we are going to see the hand of God perform signs, wonders, and miracles in our life. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. <clears throat> we thank you, Father. And we believe it by faith. We believe it by faith. We stand in the authority. We stand in the authority and we decree and declare that yokes of bondage are destroyed. We thank you that weapons that have formed are defeated. We thank you that demonic forces are paralyzed in our life. And God, we say reign and super reign. We say rule and super rule. We say have your way this week, this, this week. Father, move in every day. We sanction every day as a good day. We thank you for good doctor's reports. We thank you for good health, Father. We thank you that our body is coming into agreement with the will of God for our life. We command sugar numbers to come down. We command blood pressure to be regulated. We command cancer cells to dry up in the name of Jesus. We command back pain to cease now in the name of Jesus. Blood levels come into agreement. We speak to diseases and all manner of evil that would try to infiltrate our bodies illegally. Father, we evict it now by the power Power of the living God and the blood of the Lamb. We command, Father, that the devil is defeated. God, you are exalted and we have the victory. Thank you, Father. Thank you. So we decree with power and authority. Hallelujah, that it is so. And it will not be reversed, cannot, shall not be reversed. According to the name that is above every name, the name that is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the anointed one. We command Shiloh to pursue us, the peace of God, which passes all understanding. God, you are peace. We decree and declare peace, Father, where we would cry this week, make us laugh. We decree and declare you've given us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You've given us the oil of joy for mourning. You've given us beauty for ashes. We thank you for a kingdom exchange. And we decree and declare nothing will take us out of character this week. Nothing will cause us to stumble and fall this week. There will be adversity. There will be problems. There will be circumstances. But we thank you that the joy of the Lord is our strength and that the strength of the Lord is upon us, is on us, and is pursuing us and overtaking us. So we say thank you. I decree and declare over the 47 individuals who are watching, Father, go to their homes, go to their jobs, cover their children, cover their family members, cover their increase. In Jesus' name. So we declare that it is so. And it will not, cannot, shall not be reversed. In Jesus' name. We say amen and amen. Come on, rejoice, people of God. Rejoice, people of God. Rejoice, people of God. Hallelujah. God is with you. Come on, just decree that God is with me. Love you, Prophet Chestnut. Patrice, blessings to you. God is with me. God is with me. I decree and declare uh, stress levels coming down. Anxiety paralyzed. I decree and declare suicidal thoughts. We speak to you and we decree and declare you have no place here. We decree and declare we muzzle the mouth. Hallelujah of negative thoughts. We muzzle the mouth of negative thoughts. You can do it. Come on, encourage your brother. You can do it. You are well able. You are equipped. I speak the words of Caleb even to Moses. Hallelujah. You are well able. You are equipped. You have everything you need to do everything that you see. You have everything you need to become what you see in your dreams, what you see in your mind, what you sense in your spirit. Unlimited resources be released to you. <laughs> yes, Lord. Unlimited resources be released to you. The only hindrance is in your mind. And when you free your mind, you're going to free your future. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sister Zena, I, I stand in agreement with you. Anxiety is coming down. It is paralyzed. It is defeated. Hallelujah. The back of poverty is broken in your life. You will have enough to do what you want to do and more. Hallelujah. He says, no good thing to take. First lady, no good thing. Minister, pastor, no good thing will he withhold from you if you walk upright. I decree and declare 
The only lack, the only limit is in your mind. But God says, I release to you according to your faith. You will have what you decree. You will have what you say. You will have what you believe already belongs to you. <laughs> hey God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Unlimited resources. Unlimited resources. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Listen, listen. We do not uh, uh, bribe you with prophecy in order to get you to sow. Amen. But if you are kingdom investors, good morning, uh, Minister Donna. Uh, we want you to sow this morning. So according uh, to your means, so according to your expectation. Amen. This is good ground. I can say that emphatically. Uh, and, and so if you so desire this morning, I want you to partner with us. Can I get some of you to partner this morning? Can I get some of you to partner if you're going to sow? Just put in the comments sowing. I don't make you do that often, but I want to know if there's anyone, if you're being blessed by this plat platform and you want us to continue uh, in this space, uh, if you will partner with me this morning. Uh, I've told you all for the last several months, I have just, as the Lord has been saying, I've been releasing seed, being obedient, whether it is in ministry, whether it is in people that the Lord puts on my heart. And I've seen the hand of God uh, make it where uh, uh, he is continually providing for my family and I. And I'm grateful. But I know it's even as overseer said, my seed is doing it. My seed is doing it. And so you don't have to sow this morning. But if you will join me, if you will join me in partnering this morning. Uh, so that we can continue, amen, this portion of ministry. Amen. Thank you, Sister Shireen. Thank you, Sister Shanae, Sister Yvonne. Amen. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, I, let me know, is it is Turner the first name or Bree the first name? But thank you, woman of God. Uh, Pastor Belton, thank you this morning. Sister Crystal, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for partnering with us so we can continue to be here and do ministry on this level. God is doing phenomenal things. I am so honored and so humbled uh, to be Amen. Uh, a servant leader of, of two phenomenal ministries uh, that in the in, in, in the persons <laughs> of Rayma Christian Center and Hope City Empowerment Church. Thank you. Sean is sowing this morning. Uh, Minister Cece is sowing this morning. Blessings to you. Uh, uh, and listen, what is our rule here? We never sow without telling our seat where to go. So make sure you put a declaration on that seat. What do you want God to do? And I'm going to come into agreement with you this morning. Amen. In regards to your seat. Uh, I'm so excited about all the amazing things that God is doing. Listen, this Sunday, we've got two announcements. This Sunday, I don't know if you can run over to the circus one as well, but this Sunday is a very exciting Sunday. I need you to listen. Don't log out yet. Don't log out yet. This Sunday, two exciting things are happening. The first thing is Sunday morning at 10.55 a.m. It is homecoming Sunday at Rama Christian Center. I am personally asking you, to be my guest, be our guest this coming Sunday, 10.55 a.m. for homecoming. It is our family and friends day. We've got some uh, uh, some additions to our service that are going to be phenomenal. Amen. We are excited. Amen. Our dance ministry is going to be in, in effect. Sister Shanae, who you've seen in the comments, is going to be dancing. We've got some giveaways and some prizes for those who bring the most family members or friends. We're going to watch Overseer eat chitlins. And we are so excited. We are so excited. And so I've already got word of, of some individuals who are getting on the road and coming. And we're I won't make her eat them that Sunday. Don't worry, y'all. Amen. It may be me that has to eat them. Who knows? We'll see. But we are challenging ourselves to invite as many people as we can to Homecoming Sunday. And we want you to do it up this week. We want you to wear your favorite high school gear, your favorite collegiate gear, your alma mater, your favorite team gear. We want you to come dress like a homecoming football game this coming Sunday at Rama Christian Center Church. OK, if you're going to be there, just put in the comments. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Come on, put it in the comments. I'm there. Thank you, Pastor Selena, for sewing. Thank you, Minister Donna, for sewing this morning. Come on, put in the comments. I am there. <laughs> yes, Sister Zena. Oh, Sister Zena, I thought you was on my team. She said, you're going to be eating those shipments. All right. We'll see. Hopefully I don't have to. <laughs> Brother Franklin, so glad to see you. That's our missionary Devon's father. Blessings to you. Amen. Amen. Sister Yvonne said, I am there. I am there. So join us this Sunday. And then we are so excited. We are so excited because Sunday evening at 6.30 p.m., our overseer is, has been selected as one of the first ladies in the Philadelphia region. But we know she is more than just Philadelphia because, amen, she's also here in the DMV. She is being honored among a quorum of first ladies at the Universal Circus. 
She has been selected and she will be centering at the circus, uh, being honored and, and introducing herself. And so we want as many of you, you can still get tickets. Just go to their website. It is the 630 p.m. show. Amen. Thank you for showing Mr. Keegan. He said, I'm there as well. It's the 6.30 p.m. show uh, for the Universal Circus. Many of Rayma, many of Hope City have already gotten their tickets and are going to be on the road. And we're excited. We're going to make some noise for her. Sister Yvonne said, I got to go on their website and make sure I can bring my whistle. I don't want to uh, affect the animals and the trainers. But she said, I want to bring my whistle. So we want you to bring tambourines, whistles, washboards, foghorns, whatever you can. And when they announce our overseer's name, we want to go crazy we want to go crazy so uh make your way amen to philadelphia pa at 6 30 p.m so sunday is going to be an exciting day we will be having service at rhema thank you uh sister uh missionary devonna you can come back to me uh, we will be having a service at Hope City, but it will be an abridged service. It will be a shorter service so that everyone can prepare uh, to be on time uh, to the Universe Soul Circus. So Sunday morning, 10.55 a.m., join us at Rayma. There are <laughs> there are animals at the Universe Soul Circus. They got everything there. <laughs> How many of you have been? I've, I've been several times. Uh, I've been several times. Of are, are they? I did not know that. Okay, okay, I stand corrected. Oh, man. OK, OK, OK. Every time I went, they had elephants and the, uh, the dogs and, and all that stuff. OK. And horses. But OK, they're animal free now. OK, that makes sense. Um, we want you to join us. So be there, be there. So all day Sunday is going to be a phenomenal day. Tomorrow we will be in Bible study. Tomorrow we will be in Bible study and we're uh, continuing to teach on the power of our seed, first fruits, as we prepare for an amazing year. And also, uh, just by way of announcements further out, uh, we want you to join us um, December 23rd. There will be service at Raymond Christian Center in the morning, and uh, we'll be giving out toys to the kids. Uh, December 16th, I don't think we have a flyer for it yet, but December 16th, Hope City is doing outreach for the holidays. We're going to be going out into the streets, uh, caroling, giving out hot chocolate, giving out, uh, I believe, some clothing and, 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 and food. And so uh, we want you to be a part of that as well. And then uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, so much going on. New Year's Eve, uh, there will be 10 a.m., 10.55 a.m. service at Rama. There will be 12 noon service. Our, our Hope City, Lord, our Hope City Empowerment Church will have 12 noon service. And then 10 p.m., we will be at Rama Christian Center to bring in the new year in a major, major, major way. So we want you to join us. All right, listen, I love you all with the love of the Lord. I pray that you have a phenomenal day. Every day this week is going to be a good day. Why? Because we said so. And God has come into agreement with us. Heaven is backing us. And we know that it shall be. I love you all. Talk to you soon.